Well, this is a place I, I come to occasionally and I often see a large family of kangaroos here. So I was walking really quietly through the undergrowth and uh, I haven't seen any kangaroos yet, but guess what I've spotted? The back of a very, very large koala. Pretty exciting stuff. Beautiful looking koala, which we'll leave in peace now to get on with their day. We're driving towards this woodland area this morning. The sun was out and now it's really gone cloudy and quite overcast and I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get a shower of rain, which would be a wonderful thing because it's very dry. But it does make it harder to take the photographs and get that beautiful sunlight on the koala's fur, which I just absolutely adore um, but we'll do the best we can see how we go well the sun's uh, just starting to burn off the cloud and um, so we're sort of in between a bit of cloud and a bit of blue sky and just saw this beautiful uh, female koala uh, above us I certainly can't see any joey from this uh, angle. Um, just one healthy, beautiful koala. Very much over the last uh, couple of weeks, I've noticed a lot more koalas in smaller trees. Um, and there could be a number of reasons for this. I mean, taking refuge, as I've said, uh, to keep away from the bigger koalas. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but this one is obviously a good food tree as well. I mean, it's absolutely abundant with uh, fresh leaf. So a great one for a koala to be uh, feasting on, that's for sure. What I've just spotted to my left is another koala. Very, very special, um, down very low, again in a small tree. Again, it looks like a female, uh, a lot larger than the one to her right. Some dogs off their lead, running free. It's nice, but not desirable. She's certainly taken it all in. This koala is quite tricky to see because it blends in quite well, but once you know it's there, it's so much easier. making my way through the bush. Occasionally it happens that because you see a koala from uh, up in the distance there and you, you work your way around it so not to disturb and uh, to, to cause it undue stress. Uh, 
you get to where you think you might be able to see the koala again and uh, you can't see them. You have to backtrack all the way back again, <laughs> re-spot it, take some more landmarks and then work your way around the side again. So uh, I'm not in that situation just yet but I haven't seen our friend yet. Ah, here he goes. Starting to get those rays of sun. Look at the size of those ears. Beautiful. Such a beautiful little trail. So with the uh, warmer winter, uh, it's brought uh, everything a little bit further forward. So we've got um, our wonderful reptiles are on the move. Um, we've got ticks uh, going through the dry grasses like I do. It uh, always pays to check for them after a, a spell in the bush. And uh, yeah, it's just... Uh, Things are changing. It's uh, you know getting warmer uh, day by day. The days are getting longer. Well, look at this great uh, silhouette uh, way off in the distance. Very iconic, isn't it? And ears like that. Um, obviously, we can't get a good look uh, in the shadow with the light the way it is, but uh, still an iconic look. And, Well, this little koala is all tucked up. Sleeping the day away. I don't know how often this happens but I'm just back at my car and I'm looking up in the local big trees and right up here there's a koala looking back at me. Well, quite tricky to see uh, through all the foliage and the branches etc. It looks like a big male uh, to me just hanging there staring right back at us.